We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. In this clip, I'll cover actress Ann Archer. She's known for her roles in Shortcuts, 1993. She was in Clear and Present Danger, 1994. Patriot Games, 1992. Fatal Attraction, 1987. She was in Raise the Titanic, 1980. So I took a look at Ann Archer. And I believe two actors that she resembles, these would be Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. And they are well known as being Mr. Spock and Captain Kirk in Star Trek. The classic television series from the 1960s and a series of movies. also believe that Ann Archer may resemble actress Joan Collins, who was on the Star Trek episode, The City on the Edge of Forever, from 1967. William Shatner and Ann Archer, they were together in the television series, The Sixth Sense, Season 1, Episode 6, entitled, Can a Dead Man Strike from the Grave? February 26, 1972. Joan Collins had a role on Dynasty, a television series, which ran between 1981 and 1989. Ann Archer was reportedly considered for the role of Lady Ashley Mitchell. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. Analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anagrams, idioms, anecdotes, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. Also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors who may resemble the actors in the movie that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com. Yes, I do accept Bitcoin donations. My Bitcoin wallet address is on the screen. All you have to do is scan this with your Bitcoin app. You can send as much Bitcoin as you like, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G-U-Y, at Yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.